Hey, have you ever seen Iran's Karar drone? It's wild. Seriously, this thing blew up the internet when it launched. Today, we're diving deep into its story, power, and mystery. Stick with me, you won't believe what this drone can do. It all started back in 2010. Yeah, feels like yesterday. The president stood proudly, showing off the new flying machine. People thought it was a bluff, just military PR noise. But trust me, this bird has teeth, real sharp ones. From the beginning, it wasn't just for practice and training. It carried bombs from day one, serious battlefield hardware on board. Imagine strapping a 250 kilogram bomb under a tiny jet. Yep, they really went all in, no holding back. Now let's rewind and figure out where Karar came from. It's partly based on the American MQM-107 drone model. Iran reverse-engineered the design and added their own engine inside. That engine? It's called Tulu-4, made right in Iran. So originally, it was a target drone for missile testing. But they thought, hey, why not make it drop bombs? And soon it became a multi-role beast in the sky. Not bad for something that launches off a radar, right? Karar is about 4 meters long, sleek and slim, weighs around 500 kilos, depending on its payload and gear, can carry about 250 kilograms of pure explosive power. Fast? You bet, nearly 900 kilometers per hour fast. Its max altitude? Around 40,000 feet. That's really, really high. So high that radar might miss it on a sweep. And its range? Roughly a thousand kilometers on a full tank. That means it can strike deep without even being seen. But don't think it's just one drone with one job. There are different Karar models for different mission types. Some drop bombs, others fire air-to-air -air missiles like a jet. They even made one to attack submarines from the sky. Yep, it can carry anti-ship missiles like Kosar too. And don't forget the guided bombs, Balaban and Yasin. It's like a flying toolbox with every tool in reach. Seriously, this drone is as flexible as a Swiss knife. Iran's military doesn't share numbers, but we've seen plenty. Some say dozens, others claim hundreds have been built. We've seen whole warehouses packed with Karars ready for action. So yeah, production is not stopping anytime soon. Not just tests, Karar has done real-world interceptions too. Once, it scared off American drones from a training zone. Global Hawk, Reaper, Poseidon, they all turned back fast. Not bad for an unmanned jet built over a decade ago. Rumors say Hezbollah and other allies might use it. Wouldn't be surprised it's small, fast, and deadly effective. Great for defending, spying, and showing presence without a pilot. A lot cheaper than sending in a fighter jet. Some say it's just a copy of old tech, but Iran made it smarter, faster, and way more dangerous. It's like they took the blueprint and turned it savage. Love it or hate it, it's definitely battle ready now. By the way, Karar means striker. It just keeps attacking. Every mission, every launch, it's meant to hit hard. It's not just flying for fun, it's flying to fight. And trust me, that name fits it perfectly well. The company behind it? HESA, Iran's aircraft builder. They also made the Ababil drones you've probably heard about. Same minds, same vision, turned simple tech into lethal force. And honestly, they've done a decent job pushing boundaries here. It launches from rails using boosters, no runway needed. That means quick deployment from anywhere, road, desert, wherever. Then it flies solo, high and fast, till the target. Sometimes it even parachutes down when done. Super tactical. Let's talk bombs again. Yasin is laser guided and precise. So you're not just lobbing steel, you're guiding it in. It means even one Karar can do serious pinpoint damage. That's a nightmare for anyone on the receiving end. Compared to other nations, Iran's ahead in jet drones. Most countries use propeller driven UAVs, slower, easier to catch. But Karar's turbojet engine gives it a serious performance edge. It's not stealthy, but it's definitely hard to intercept. Think of Karar as a flying hybrid, part jet, part missile, part drone, part bomber, all in one. It's not perfect, but it does a surprising number of things. 
And best of all, it does them really affordably. Can you picture standing there, hearing that jet scream overhead? No pilot inside, but it's aiming straight at your base. Imagine trying to stop it before it drops its load. Yeah, not exactly a peaceful little flyer, huh? Iran says this is just the beginning, not the end. Karar is step one, they're working on step two. Bigger drones, longer range, heavier weapons, it's all coming. And Karar helped them get there faster than expected. This isn't just about war, it's about strategy too. Drones like Karar force enemies to think twice before entering. It adds layers to defense that satellites can't map. Cheap to make, but costly to ignore. Smart move. So next time someone says Iran has no tech, remember, they've built turbojet drones, tested them, armed them, and used them. That's not fiction. It's on video, in the news, and this is only one of the many they've got. If you enjoyed this, wait till you see what's next. We've got more drones, missiles, and wild defense stories coming. So hit that follow and keep flying with us. Your support fuels more content like this. Thanks, cunts. All right, that's the story of Iran's Karar drone today. Hope you enjoyed the ride. I sure had a blast. Leave your thoughts below. What surprised you the most? Until next time, stay sharp and keep curious. Peace out.